Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. Today I want to take a look at the VDU uh, programmable educational robot car uh, sold by AI Treasure on Amazon. They provided this to me to review it, and so I did. But it's been a long time coming, and that's because I have some issues with it. But let me just give you the bottom line up front, because I don't like wasting your time. Would I recommend this? Um, if you're looking for like a totally complete everything in the box and instructions are great, and you can go from zero to you know driving this thing around and doing the doing the little line following programs. Mm -mm. No, it's gonna, it's going to take a little bit more, and we're going to talk about that right now. I should probably say that this this is actually totally new to me. So the Arduino stuff, that's something I've been wanting to get into for a while. And in case you don't know, Arduino, well, it's a company, and they came up with this um, easy to use software and hardware um, that you can basically, you know, assemble, attach things, motors, servos, whatever you want, and then you can program it uh, by connecting it to your computer. And there's like a little programming thing you can do, 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 type in your code. And I guess it's pretty easy to use, and it's open source, so other people can can uh, build the hardware and design uh, different software uh, programs and all that sort of stuff. So I'm like, that's pretty cool. I really want to get into that. And so I thought that this car would be a good kit, you know, for that and learning how to uh, program different things. Well, it is kind of, but um, I was really hoping for more of like a just everything is in the box and easy to get going and get started type of setup. Um, but the thing is, there's a bit more involved um, in terms of the, in terms of downloading um, different items, opening files, figuring out how to load them into the Arduino um, software. Um, and also I have a Mac. So most of the tutorial stuff that is provided by the manufacturer is for PC. And I, I was on a Mac, so that was kind of different. Um, so it, again, it's not, it's not like there's this, it's not like this is broken or that it doesn't work right, but it, it, it's, it's going to take a lot more, um, time in basically just learning how to use the whole Arduino thing, um, kind of on my own. I was hoping for a better, more complete Arduino learning experience is what it was. So as far as the actual kit itself, it's pretty good. I mean, every um, almost everything is included in the kit as far as the hardware, you know, the the, the different circuit boards, the wheels, the motors, um, and you pretty much snap it together. The instructions for actually assembling the hardware is pretty good. However, uh, they didn't really mention, as far as I could tell, anything about what types of batteries you need or that it does not come with batteries. For this, you need uh, lithium polymer, uh, excuse me, lithium ion 18650 batteries. Um, so I did happen to have some of those lying around, but they're not that common. I mean, they're they're fairly common in the in the hobby industry, but you're not gonna find them like at CVS or something. So that's a big downside, because because uh, you really need to know what kind of batteries you need, and they really need to be commonly available batteries. So I would really have preferred if it was just, even if it took like six double A's or something. But aside from the battery, it comes with everything else you need. It does come with a screwdriver, which I, I kind of broke, because I was sort of prying with it. So don't pry with a screwdriver, but it does come with a screwdriver. Um, and tools and stuff, everything that you need, the hardware. The board itself is not uh, like an original Arduino board, which I, I don't think is too big of a deal. It's still gonna take me some more time to learn how to really use all the functions and basically learn how to use the Arduino uh, system or the platform. Um, this, is, this review is not gonna be as complete as I wanted it to be because I wanted to be able to test it out and show you guys like the line following stuff and the ultrasonic sensor thing for obstacle avoidance, but that's just not going to happen because I'm just running out of time. I got to get this review out there because I've got a lot more fun stuff, uh, fun reviews, fun videos that I want to bring to you guys. Bottom line, again, I think that the kit itself is okay. It, the kit itself seems fine. And, and honestly, I'm going to have a, uh, have a good time messing around with these uh, components and, and actually making stuff once I learn how to use the Arduino stuff. So the experience overall is a bit more involved than you might think it would be based on the advertising and that sort of thing. Also, the app, the, uh, the, the phone app that you're supposed to be able to use with this, with the Bluetooth controller, I, I, I couldn't find it on the App Store. Um, so I don't think it's on the App Store. I think it's like it's, it comes from, you have to download it from the website and then somehow put that on your phone. But I was like, what? That's my biggest problem with this kit is that I basically just got more confused once I finally put all the hardware together. 
All that said, if you are interested in this kit, because maybe you just want the, the hardware itself so you can build stuff out of it, um, I will have links in the description below. Again, thank you uh, AI Treasure for providing this for review. I know it's not quite the review that maybe you were hoping for, and that I was hoping for really, but for now that's how it's gonna have to be. I would say that uh, if you improve your instructions and kind of the overall experience surrounding the hardware and maybe change out the battery pack, uh, I think that would really improve this product. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time and support. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you again very soon.